comfortably. My name's Michael Leary, I'm, I'm a, a storyteller, um, which possibly makes me no different to anyone else, but uh, I actually get a living out of doing this. What are you all looking at? There's all these children looking at me. I'm so handsome, is that it? No! I used to be a teacher, I mean, I used to be many things before that, but I used to be a teacher, and it kind of grew out of that. So I've been telling stories professionally since, um, oh, about 95, 96, and mainly going around schools. Uh, and mainly primary schools, because that's where the market is. Um, and that's also that's, that reflects a sort of perception of storytelling, that it's for children, which is perhaps a bit sad, because it's not entirely for schools. I mean, I also tell stories in secondary schools, uh, at the university, in, in sixth form colleges, uh, in pubs and clubs and uh, in prisons. So there's all sorts of different, different places where storytelling seems to be required. And, and now I've been doing it for a while. It's spread much more from the schools, but still the, the schools are the, the basis of it. I've done a lot of work for a charity called Kids VIP, which is in prisons, um, and, and that's very varied because I've seen going around the country, going to different prisons, that, that there's no particular similarity between them. Sometimes I find myself in the corner of a waiting room and I'm telling stories to children whilst parents are meeting. Uh, other prisons I've been actually working with prisoners and they've been making videos of, of stories that they've told to, to give to their children. So that seems a particularly constructive thing that I've been doing. Also in hospitals, I've tell, been telling stories, uh, and even on a steam train one time. <laughs> he's my teddy bear. Oh, that's nice here. Oh, because he is my teddy bear. And he's as old as me. Now, like I said, I'm 50. Um, he was given to me when I, when I was a baby, when I was born. And so I think he must be a bit older than me. Do you think he looks old? He's scratchy. Well, we've known about Mike for years, actually. Um, he used to come and do supply teaching here, and then we discovered that he had this knack for telling the most wonderful stories. Um, he left teaching and became a storyteller, so we've been having him every year since then. Sarah thinks it's her bear. Daniel, he won't admit it, but he thinks it's his bear. And Ruth thinks it's her bear. So what are we supposed to do? Reading is at the heart of learning, and I think anything that encourages children to look at books or listen to stories is going to help children learn so that's why we have him here um, he also helps children with their imagination giving them the opportunity to explore things in a way that perhaps they don't have opportunities elsewhere to do um, today I'm at Redbridge Primary School and uh, I'm an old friend of Redbridge Primary School I, I used to at one time come, come here once a month telling stories uh, and that was in the mainstream school time. But at the moment we're in an evening session and people are particularly interested in, in uh, reading stories to their children, telling stories to their children, and I'm kind of there to encourage people in that really and, and to show that it's, it's not something um, exclusive. It's not something only for certain people. That storytelling is something that we can all do. So, for instance, I told a story about my teddy bear and how he fell on the railway line when I was a kid. And those sorts of things happen to all of us. That, that some sort of thing that we can talk about in a conversational matter that that is storytelling and that's very important and that we don't all learning needs to have that essence of creativity something different something new something that comes from within themselves and of course that will lead them to then value themselves far more and a child who's got high self-esteem is a going to be a better person because of it but also in school is going to be a better learner too So if you like tall stories, get in touch with Michael O'Leary, whose details are, as always, on the Arts for Everyone website. <laughs>